Construction of the largely grant-funded San Lorenzo River Lagoon Culvert Project addresses three critical problems related to the Lower San Lorenzo River – flooding, public safety, and habitat protection. First, the project prevents the flooding of homes, businesses, and infrastructure in Lower Ocean Street and Beach Flats neighborhoods caused when the Lower River closes and becomes a lagoon in summer months. This closure is due to accumulation of sand at the river mouth, a natural process called shoaling. The resulting sandbar traps river water, which can rise to seven feet or more, and then eventually breaches through the sandbar and rushes violently into the sea. This shoaling was exacerbated by the construction of the harbor jetties in the 1960s. Sand that once drifted downshore becomes trapped by the west jetty causing sand to accumulate and sea brighten main beaches to widen. This change in the beaches has increased the duration of the problematic lagoon closures. Flooding from the lagoon endangers public safety. During a breach, the rapidly flowing volumes of water gushing into the ocean can pull people out to sea. This is extremely dangerous, especially during the summer when tens of thousands of people are present on main beach. To prevent perilous uncontrolled breaches like this, the city incurs significant expense each year to conduct controlled mechanical breaches of the lagoon under regulatory oversight. Heavy equipment is used to break through the sandbar so that the river can flow into the ocean and relieve the flooding. However, from time to time the lagoon is breached by beachgoers, including children who do not understand the danger and illegal nature of causing a lagoon breach. Breaching is also as treacherous to natural habitat as it is regarding flooding and public safety. It can cause a complete emptying of the lagoon into the ocean, known as a catastrophic breach, flushing all lagoon-dwelling species out to sea. A catastrophic breach then replaces the lagoon's relatively fresh water habitat with fully saline ocean water damaging the habitat for species, including the threatened steelhead trout and the endangered tidewater goby. The culvert project will keep the lagoon water level at five feet throughout the summer and fall. Five feet is high enough to provide excellent habitat for lagoon species, but just low enough so that the surrounding community will not experience flooding. Once the lagoon level reaches five feet in surface height, Two subsurface pipes will transport lagoon water to the ocean and maintain the lagoon level at five feet. A closed lagoon throughout the summer will also allow for a wider berm to form between the ocean and lagoon, which may eliminate illegal lagoon breaches. The Culvert Project is a product of a direct partnership with several regulatory agencies over many years. These include NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Service, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the California Coastal Commission, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the California State Water Resources Control Board, and the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. The San Lorenzo River Lagoon Culvert Project is primarily funded by a $2.2 million grant from the Wildlife Conservation Board, a division of the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. About a fifth of related costs are covered by the city's stormwater, general, and liability funds. Project completion is expected in the fall of 2022.